hello, hello. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not quite sure where I'm going with this. There's a lot of stuff going on in my mind. Um, so I'm going to call out the sign Gemini. There's some different names. Okay, I just did a previous video, okay, um, about some bullshit. Um, and I realized afterwards, um, that's how kind of how it goes. So after the fact, kind of letting it go, resting, different things like clicking. You know what I mean? Okay, so originally, so Gemini's, this is mainly for you. Um, but I am going to talk about some of the Gemini's in my life. Um, actually, my, my sweet mother, um, also a grandmother and an uncle. Okay. Um, <laughs> so this is supposed to be a birthday bonus message. It's not always, you know, that it feels like it should be fun, exciting and things like this, but there's definitely this underlying sadness or sorrow too. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the show Pretty Little Liars. There's the weirdest thing. Got a secret. Can you keep it? Taking this one to the grave. You know, gotta lock it in my pocket. Something like this, right? Two can keep a secret if one of them is dead. So that's like A, right? Uh, the show with the pretty little, little, little liars. My mom used to really enjoy watching that. She did pass away about 10 years ago. Um, but this ties in deeper, okay? So I'm going to talk about Aries and Libras and Cancers as well and Scorpionic. Um, there's so many different names and this correlates, okay, to this other video. And I don't know if it's about thievery and shit coming to light, different things like that, the secrets that could harm people coming uh, out. And it's not just secrets, it's thieves. It's thieving, lying, really uh, good pieces of human waste. Sorry, this that's some negativity there. But uh, in the other thing, there was gossip parrot. So who has a parrot that you know? Okay. Uh, there was a fire sign. Okay. And there was air sign. There was that Libra, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, and then Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the fire and the air, right? Um, then there's the water, Cancer sign. And um, so a lot of Cancer, so Gemini and Cancers, if you're not dealing with Cancer people in your life, like um, a spouse, a husband, a father, I also have a grandfather and I guess a, uh, a father figure, I guess, um, in the cancer energies. <sighs> okay. So there's a few names, multiple people with the same name, even Steve. What's up, Steve? Uh, you know, I talked and Johnny Cash is, you know, God's going to cut you down. And Marilyn Manson sings that as well. So there's Johnny. Uh, hey, Johnny. Here's Johnny. <laughs> um, and then Marilyn Manson's true name, true identity, is Brian. So even the Beach Boys and Brian Wilson or the Bare Naked Ladies singing the song Brian Wilson. I don't know where we're going with this, but like I said... This is supposed to be a happy birthday bonus for the Geminis. But um, also the pill. A pill. Uh, there's like a pill in Locket or something. Something to do with the pills. Um, Marilyn Edson also sings uh, Soma White. And I was also seeing like, because in his video, Marilyn Manson's video regarding Soma White, He's with Rose McGowan and they're doing like this reenactment of like the JFK thing. You know, we didn't, it makes me think of like Billy Joel and we didn't start the fire. 
Um, JFK blown away. What else do I have to say? Huh. I know it's weird. It's cryptic, but, uh, I just got to get it out there and clear my head. And maybe that's what you need to do to clear your head, communicate for Gemini is your monthly for May. Um, really showed it was a time for listening and being present with people. Um, Hmm. Listening and being very present with the people in your life. All right. Um, there's always just some crap, you know, mind blowing garbage. Oh, like even the bad garbage. Hmm. Stupid girl. <laughs> All you had, you wasted. Ten of Pentacles. So, money, 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 money. Business owner. This is above Nine of Pentacles. This is owning the foundation, or like, you know, the property, the building, being the CEO. So, this is going to be about money. Look like it about business. That's a Ten of Pentacles. This is about the business. See, there was a rat inside. It was like an inside job, like someone like stealing from their own work space. I'm seeing a nine. That see these, the nine two, ninety two, and uh, ninety five, twenty five, ninety seven. All right. Okay, this is not having any anxiety or sleepless nights, being able to sleep soundly, having a normal, regular, um, when, I, when I see this, there was probably a time of maybe even uh, night shift or insomnia, even some sleepless nights, nightmares, but things are back on schedule. It's a normal uh, nine to five, you know, waking up, going to bed at nine, <laughs> waking up even at five in the morning and getting things done. Um, back on schedule. Look, even with a soulmate, things are like there's no more nightmares or sleepless nights regarding a soulmate. Uh, there was a time of feeling uh, fi a financial burden or really left out in the cold. Mm. So it's like things are getting back on track, I guess. Okay. All right, Gemini's uh, with your home. Oh, someone even might have gotten kicked out of a home. Or not had enough funds for a home. Like literally someone got kicked out. Feeling left out in the cold. They got locked out of a home. A house. Oh. The home. The home. Okay. Um, even it's a cancer. And the joker. Double joker. Okay. This is someone who wants to control things. So, you, oh, this Joker's in reverse. Okay. Usually a Joker to me is Aries. Fool, right? But this particular Joker also has something controlling. So there's Capricorn energy. there. It shows devil. Um, and Scorpionic, but obsession. Mars and Saturn. Right? So trying to release control or anything. that's It's like releasing and letting go of the devil uh controlling obsession toxins uh, addictions uh, collaborating and working together it's like one you release one devil and then there's another devil a new level another devil another joker uh, 9 15 and i just got a message it um so maybe you need a mess you got a message too all right, so now letting go of one, Joker, Capricorn, or Aries, and moving and collaborating and working together with these two, another Capricorn or Aries, um, but something it's it's something that's controlling, and there could be, uh, okay, you see. He looks a little beat up here. This is that cancer energy, right? I'm not really going to... I mean, could be scorpionic. 
I don't really see so much Pisces here, but it could be. But I'm seeing this as someone being controlled by obsession, by drinking, by drugs. It could be sex addiction. But usually with this cancer energy here, it's going to be really drunk. Drunkenness. Um, shit. You could think this, this other, this, this Capricorn or Aries trying to control. This person's like being controlled by some toxic shit. Trying to control everything. It controls them. And, uh, oh, collaborating and working together, though. <laughs> they're, like, in charge. They're the, the boss, you know? The boss. So they got that. They got to take control of those things. Okay, I'm going to see what else. So over here, so Gemini's, you must work, you work with someone who is a Cancer, Capricorn, Aries, Scorpionic, who's very controlling. Maybe even gets drunk at work. Oh boy, is this stuff is even going on at work and it's the boss. Oh man, I've, I've seen those type of bosses. Man, they become arrogant. Man. Uh, oh man since y'all don't know me I'm just gonna throw out names <laughs> Kurt, Curtis <sighs> uh, that's another one hmm. I'm just gonna start throwing names this is um, Freddy Fred Freddy Mac um Mike, Michael, mm -hmm. that's all, that's all for now, Ralph, <laughs> Ralphie, you're gonna shoot your eye out, a Christmas story, here this is a Christmas story, all right, here we go, look at this, little Taurus, little Capricorn, um, I didn't sense Virgo, but maybe, I mean, did I talk about the earth? Yeah, the Capricorn. Hey, what's up? So now we got a queen here. What's queen got to say? Spread joy. Spread joy. Mm, I don't know. what. It is what it is. Okay. Work. This is all about work. Someone you work with. A feminine Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Someone that's just an employee as well. Not the CEO, not the big boss. Just... They work. They're part of the team. I mean, this doesn't happen by yourself. This Ten of Pentacles. No, it, that's the thing. To to grow to that stage, you have to depend on people um, and find good, loyal employees. And you treat them with love and respect and the way you would want to be treated. Give them, you know, pay them well. Uh, you know, give them raises. And then you got to get rid of the dirt. You know? Normally, I would say this is actually a really good thing to release. Not being foolish. Trying not to control everything. And not being controlled by uh, obsession or temptation. It still keeps beeping. 14, 14. Mm. Okay, that reminds me. The 14s. There could be like a 30 year span. I'm serious. Like, so I saw 44 and then 14, um, which still adds up to 85. Yeah, that's 13, 14. It still adds up to the fours. So the fours. All right. All right. Over here. Let's see. Oh, the fours. There we go. So, um, oh, okay. Maybe even sleeping or resting. This is needing healing. Maybe this is part of work. Or it could be um, regarding healing. Right? Taking time and rest. 
No, before it was like the arrest. Needing a rest. Maybe there's even someone sleeping on the job. Yeah. I'm just flowing it through. Thanks, Gemini's, for so much excitement. Oh, feeling like, oh, see, they got arrest. I think they got arrested at work. <laughs> for reals. And they are defeated. They, like, they've been caught. This Defeated. They feel unvictorious. They're not willing to stand up and defend or even block and protect. They're, not, they're defeated. The 11, 47, 7, 11. Maybe even a friend, partner. Mm. 47. The text messages are annoying me. I'm going to probably stop this soon, but 8. See, they feel stuck. They're, they got trapped stuck they don't know where to move they got no moves like that's that she's like i'm throwing her hands in the air i got no moves i got no roots uh oh this is about victory like wanting to be victorious but they don't know how to move forward to be victorious with whatever this situation is oh because it's a complete fucking ending i apologize for the crude language i am sorry I truly am. I gotta breathe through it too. Because this stuff upsets me too, you know? Okay, Gemini's. It's a complete ending. A death, like literally. Backstabbing betrayal. It's like realizing even 610. Gemini maybe. But a complete ending. And maybe even mm. so dealing with you know an earth sign it was like the earth sign was bringing clarity okay so oh yeah the clarity the communication you're gonna receive a message and like i'm saying i'm getting messages right now i'm gonna check this after this video but text messages text messages could be emails a phone call this isn't face to face but you're gonna receive these messages online mm -hmm. about work about whatever this shit is 98 the 17 not feeling not getting your wishes fulfilled they're not getting their wishes fulfilled communication is about not happy not getting what they were wishing for 89 I got 89 again in 98. So the 17s. Emotionally detaching and walking away from the situation. I think that's what the message is. I don't know how to handle this. Things are done and over. That's why I say emotionally detaching. Here's a mindful message, okay, Gemini's, about your morning rituals. In the mornings, I will take time to tune in to myself. To set high vibrational rituals that will help me lead a good day. I pay attention to the morning habits that don't serve me and change them for ones that do. Hmm. So paying attention, starting the day right, maybe like that's the thing. Like getting up even at 5 a.m. or 9, I don't know. But starting the day right. You got the soulmate thing here. I want to get another one about the soulmate. No longer sleepless nights and nightmares of regarding a soulmate. Or that they don't have that anymore. Anyways, are you? And that was in the past. There's three. I'm going to flow them through. Loving friends. Soulmates. I surround myself with people who inspire me and grow together with me. My friends raise me up and hold me to the best that I can be. I am loved unconditionally and supported throughout my journey. I release old friendships, which may be toxic or keeping me stagnant. Hell yeah, that's what you gotta do. There's like just the three of us. <laughs> but it's instead, it's just the two of us. So surrounding yourself with people who, uh, it's an unconditional love and not uh, that keep you stagnant or uh, that are toxic. Britney Spears, toxic, toxic, and mayor. In order to change my life outside, right, even feeling left out in the cold, um, 
kicked out. There, it's like there's sadness in the heart, right? Or even money issues, right? I need to change inside. Once I'm open to this change, my exterior reality will begin to mirror those new shifts. Regarding this lack mentality, even. Okay, then we got even regarding home. All is okay. All that I feel is okay. I hold myself in love through the unsureness, the worry, doubt, anger, fear, anxiety, rejection, or overwhelm. I'm thankful to feel the full range of emotions that I do. These emotions are the very contrast that leads to my higher expansion. Right? All is okay. Even in your home. Hmm. Even, like I'm saying, I, I like this card a lot. This is a lot about the fours, even. So the cancer, the home energy. Okay, Geminis. This is about feeling all and knowing that it's okay. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's this, I like this because there's so much with this, you know, focus on the positive and not being angry. And sometimes that ends up with suppressing or, uh, you know, addictions to try and numb and dull it. Um, appreciating, knowing that you got to feel, to heal, and then letting it go. Stop trying to control, right? Controlling, um, the emotions too. I mean, we want to be careful not to harm others with our thoughts, behaviors, actions, words. So go to a safe place and just, you know, you got to fail. It's okay to fail. However you freaking feel in gratitude. Okay, look at that. Men collaborating, working together. Then, then you shift to the gratitude, right? Being conscious, focused. What I focus on, I attract more of starting with today. I'll be more conscious of what I choose to spend time speaking or thinking of. I'll do more of the things that bring me joy and see as more of these things begin to effortlessly flow into my life. Right? And then this gratitude, the sixes now, even with your day-to-day -day life, collaborating with others, working with even maybe Virgos, Geminis, Virgos, communicating, traveling, doing those day-to-day -day tasks. I love acknowledging all the little things, those little tiny things, the details. I'm grateful for no matter what I have going on. I always have things to be thankful for. Whenever I am feeling upset, I can fill up a page with the things I appreciate. This begins to shift my mood and focus onto that which brings me joy. Collaborating, working together even. With your with your heart, like love, what you've gratified. All the little things. Paying attention to the little details. It's like that song by Blink-182. All the small things. Okay, this one's sticking out. Or over here by the business, oh, a business owner, a playful, oh, fun. That's so weird. I'm just sharing this with you guys. There was this time in my life and I totally was like, I wanted to open up like a roller skating rink. <laughs> Seriously, I was like, I want to own that. That would be so fun. Regardless though, you should enjoy what you're doing, even your career and your work. It's your yours. I go about life playfully. Take things lightly. I can turn any hard day or heavy burden into a fun adventure. Why spend time upset when there is so much fun to be had? You know, see why I like doing this. You know, you shift through. We see what's going on with some, some crap in life that gets us all in a tizzy, upset, anxiety, worrisome, pissed off, depressed at whatever. And then these give these uplifting things to help move through it. I mean, I being happy and having fun is way better than sitting around bitching and cursing and being angry and hating everything. All right, over here where we got this 
controlling behavior, even dealing with this cancer energy, Capricorn cancer. Maybe there's, like I said, Scorpionic, maybe Aries. This looks like some type of, I don't know. It's like I almost can't. The mindful messages are like, I don't think there's anything we can say about this. You get into my own energy. Okay. I love being there for friends and family while staying in, staying true to myself. I don't let others' energy or their mood affect my own. To help a friend in whole, I don't need to jump in the hole with them. Simply reach out a hand. It's up to them to do the rest. All right, so maybe these are just like friends, right? And maybe they're in a depression, sad, toxic, drinking, drugging, whatever, emotional, controlling. And that's the thing. Like, you don't have to you let them take you into that. It's about listening. Sometimes, I mean, like I said, the month of May was really about letting others listen, or, you know, you listening first, letting them share their day first, and then you asking that, and really tuning in, paying attention to the person you're with when you're communicating. Guidance system. I love using my emotions as a guidance system. They show me how close or how far away I am from what I want. When I'm feeling joy and doing the things I love, I am in a state of allowing for my desires. I notice when I am feeling low vibrational thoughts and shift them to release resistance, right? So paying attention to your, your emotions and knowing that when you're getting into that, you know, yuckiness, you know, being aware of it and, and taking control. You're not, it's showing, it shows you, you know, when you are feeling in that joy and doing the thing you love, you are like allowing. So you got the playfulness. So turning this into joyful play, even work could be about fun and things like that. All right. I'm going to flow it through one more time or one more time. Some more, this commitment, even goals. Right, even dealing with this um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, feminine that you collaborate, work with. I'm committed to my own, to my growth and dreams. I set routines and habits that help me evolve into my fullest potential. Even though I may not see the physical manifestation of my desires, I know they have vibrationally manifested. I'm sorry, but that is the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> I just gotta be honest, some of this shit is just stupid. Let's just vibrationally manifested. Okay. Especially telling that to like an earth sign. Come on now. No, they're like, it's not vibrationally manifesting. I'm doing the damn work. Or I'm not just sitting there wishful thinking like a Pisces. And no offense to, you know, Buddha and his enlightenment, but oftentimes I always saw that as like, not wanting to deal with real world and life. I'm going to go off and meditate and contemplate and get enlightened instead of handle problems. You know, it's one thing to go clear your mind and come back and then put action in. But anyways, I'm going on a tangent there. I'm just projecting. <laughs> All right. Rather than reacting and projecting my emotions onto others. I remember no one is to blame. No one is responsible for the emotions that I feel. When someone says or does something that brings up strong emotions within me, I have the choice in how I respond. Especially people you work with. Right? Okay. Alright. So. I don't know. I feel like this is nice. Getting them all online here. 29.29 on the clock when I just looked at it. 11, 11, there you go. There's the fours again. Um, maybe some of you are, your birthday is on the 29th. Hmm. Of May? I guess that'd be it, right? Oh, wow. Sorry. Anyways, 529. Hmm. A nine. All right, I'm just going to get some more of these mind, mindful messages. 
for the rest of these. Uh, also, you know, whatever someone needed resting and healing, right? And feeling like they are unvictorious. They're not even willing to defend themselves with whatever is going down. Expressing love. You're getting the message. Like I told you, there is, check your messages. Today, I noticed the things I appreciate about the people in my life. And I take a moment to send them love and to wish them well. My love is infinite and it feels great to express it. Even those that need healing or their home, they feel defeated. The 11 again, 47. A friend, it could be Aquarius, I guess. Maybe you're getting messages like this expressing love towards you. Or it's from a, a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or you're expressing it to them. All right. Over here where it's like feeling like uh, not sure how to move forward and how to be victorious because something felt like a complete betrayal and an ending. Oh, that's quite a bit. It's about uh, recharging. Okay, let's recharge. I invite magic into my life always. Every day, I grow my connection. To this earth. If I'm ever feeling low, I simply step outside and appreciate the natural miracles in this life. Being in nature lifts my spirits and recharges my energy. So going outside even and to get recharged, um, right? And doing our best. We're all doing our best with the understanding and awareness we have in this moment. Any decision I take is okay. No matter the outcome, I make the best of any situation and learn as I go along. So even regarding whatever this backstabbing, ending, betrayal, you got to make the best of it, you know? And then the messages that are coming through, even someone not feeling loved, even opportunities for growth. Everything is happening for me and my evolution. I'm not a victim of the things that happen. I take ownership of my life and I make the best of the challenges along my journey. I see how difficult moments help me to become my best version and I am thankful for them. You know, seeing how they help you grow. Communication. Even if you're not getting what you want, right? Then emotionally detaching. There's a whole bunch. The subconscious mind. Mmm. I realize that subconscious beliefs or programs may be holding me back from my desires. For example, if I want money, I may, may have been told things growing up that I am subconsciously holding on to. So I go back to my past and release beliefs that no longer align and substitute them with the ones that do. Mm. Emotionally detached food so something about food and watering your dreams and learning every day i am enough journaling and stuff so there is four more but we're at 33 31 um and i want to switch i like those mindful messages but i'm gonna get some tea leaves thank you gemini's i hope you do have a wonderful birthday um i hope that this doesn't reflect you know, things you're going through, but you got to understand that. Um, and if they do, you know, I hope this helps get out of that funk of your birthday month. I'll admit there were times when I hated my birthday. Seriously, I hated that feeling that I got to talk to everybody on the phone. And I, uh, I, I just, I don't know why it seems so weird, but I just hated that Mm. attention sometimes <laughs> gotta talk to everybody and tell them how I'm doing and da 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 and, you know oh a broken bridge yeah okay an unsuccessful outcome to a problem even regarding whatever from the past it, it can't be it's like realizing that it can't be fixed I guess yeah I will tell you, there's there's certain people in my life that it is done, done. I am, there is no fixing it. Like, I've already attempted a fix. I've already given another opportunity and squashed beef. 
just to see the same thing come back around. So yeah, uh, so whatever, some issue, okay, with people in your life. A broken bridge. That's... <sighs> hmm. All right, what else? A funnel. A period of frustration and lessons to be learned. Yep. All right, even regarding uh, friends, toxic people teardrops i told you guys i was like totally sensing this and that's shitty for a birthday bonus all right Look at this mirror mm. okay gemini's the mirror and changing the inside right and reflecting so inside there is some great personal sorrow the teardrops man they were flowing they were flowing i was missing it's been 10 years and I still have moments where I, I'm i like, I wish he was here. Um, the Mirror. There's a song called Priceless by King and Country. There is another song uh, that talks about the mirror and seeing the darkness inside. <laughs> Flags will, or flat, a flagpole sitter. Harvey Danger, and uh, yeah, those are some different songs. I don't know why, but someone's left out in the cold. They could have even gotten kicked out of their house or <sighs> things like that. Okay. Two more. A hand in need of help, assistance, and guidance. Needing to ask for help. Even with your home, with your your family, with it, a cancer people in your home, a cancer needing help. You do have the pineapple and a reconciliation needing help for this reconciliation. Right? Wow. I'm trying to release control and toxic stuff. So maybe even a reconciliation with a Capricorn. Um, almost a Taurus, but Aries. What you attract. Your pineapple. Hand pineapple. Asking for help with reconciliation. Hmm. All right. Gratitude. Stepping into a new experience. Almost a Leo, but leg. Gratitude and acknowledging these things. Collaborating, working together. Even something new. All right. Playful energy. That's why I said Leo. Even that fight. Like being the owner, the CEO. Libra, Leo, roller skating. So it's like chic and let the good times roll or something. These are the good times, okay? Something like that. Roller skates. A secret in my error, the vase. Mm. Ponytails and roller skates. Okay. Now we have the flag, like I brought up flags, maybe someone sees a flag, but do not lower your standards, okay? Especially, um, you know, I've got this Cancer, uh, Scorpionic, uh, maybe Pisces, uh, but it, it's very strongly that it's dealing with Cancer sign. Maybe there is uh, drinking, toxic stuff. There is addiction, like with this obsession. It controls them. So it's Cancer, Capricorn, Aries, Scorpionic right there. Elephant. There is a long journey, either physical or mental. It will leave you wiser at the end. You gotta go on this, this long journey. That also reminds me of like Sagittarius and Taurus actually for their month pulled this leadership to um, an elephant revival. What's this? All right, then the flag, right? Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Okay. Don't be tempted to lower your standards. I feel like grabbing this one. Queen of Swords says, Geminis, <laughs> Libras, Aquarius, maybe you deal with them as well. Um, do not lower your standards. Even telling that to this um, masculine and you definitely, Gemini Cancer, you could be 
this, okay? Because you can have both in your sign. All right, do not be tempted to lower your standards. Speak honestly, truthfully, um, all right. so you can move forward and move forward it with happiness. Okay, let's see over here where there is this commitment and you've got this earth sign feminine um, at work, something you work with, okay? Setting goals, finger, warning you of a problem either now or in the future. Maybe they're going to be warning you of some issues, right, at work and that they don't know how to handle it. Some, some crap. Great happiness. All right. Uh, the problem is about recharging and projecting your emotions on others at work. Um, but there is some great happiness. Look at this love, expressing love even. With a dark woman. Well, there's some clarification. Uh, a woman with dark hair or dark complexion, darker eyes even. Oh. Feeling a little stuck. Like they don't know how to move forward with something. Like they're defeated. But there's gratitude towards this. Happiness. I'm seeing the hearts. Like the happiness. Not projecting. And there's happiness in how this reaction. This message. The gratitude and showing love. Someone you care. You know. You appreciate. Hills. <laughs> Obstacles to overcome. Right? We're all doing our best. Even opportunities for growth. Uh, that's the thing. There is that ten of swords, that death. That's a complete betrayal and ending. Like, something is completely dead. Like, ten swords in the back. <sighs> Frying pan. Trouble and accusations and hidden secrets that can harm you. Scorpionic. There, it's like there's chatter, there's backstabbing, there's accusations, and it could be dealing with a Scorpio. I'm just, that's what I was talking about. This was coming through this cracked skull. There's backstabbing. These are the obstacles. This is the warning. Someone's going to be warning you about some bullshit. There's some accusations. All right, and these are these opportunities for growth, right? This communication, the 888898. Not feeling like they're gonna, you're not gonna get your wishes fulfilled and someone's emotionally detached. There's something in your subconscious learning of the past that needs to be released, possibly. Gavel. Oh, shit. <laughs> Involvement with the law. Garbage bill. Opportunities for growth. Wow. You know, with any type of thing, there could be somebody, okay, like I said, there was some thievery bullshit. Involvement with the law. Getting arrested. They're gonna, there's no way around it. Their justice must be served. Ooh, someone is coming quickly. They're taking action. They're driving there. The Jack. To tell you about it, even. They're, oh shit, I gotta go. I gotta check my phone. After that, I'm like, oh shit, I gotta check my phone. I had messages beeping 4404. I don't know. That's always about your home, your family, your roots, cancer. Someone could have gotten um, pulled over. Um, dog, far away, a distant friend is thinking of you. Okay. There's some involvement. Maybe, maybe they are a, a law enforcement officer or they work for the justice. The law. Like, I'll testify. Someone's raising their hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Of course I do. There's disappointment in a friend or lover. A broken, unsuccessful outcome. Mm. I'm going to flip these two. Oh, regarding work. Oh, not getting a new job. These, I'm going to call it in reverse, guys, with this one. Not getting 
the the money, not getting the loan, not getting the gift. There's no love. They don't love it. That's why there's like disappointment. That's the funnel. Frustration and lessons to be learned. These are the teardrops. Not getting, not getting the gift. Not getting the job. Something. Not getting this monetary thing. Um, anything else about the teardrops? It's about money and hoarding money. You had the four and the five there. Someone being greedy and uh, even um, losing, someone losing money or kicking someone out. They're not, they're, oh my gosh, this is so much fighting about money. Hoarding. They love, they love money more than they do people. Oh, it's a heavy burden doing all this. They're ready to take action. Need, needing the help, needing assistance, raising their hand, right? Even regarding their home, there's this passion inside the home to do all, but it, it look, it's 11 again. So maybe for some, it's an Aquarius. I don't know, a friend, 110 Capricorn, the two is the partnership. This is a heavy burden though. Someone's doing all this work trying to have this reconciliation. They, they have so much passion. Yeah. It's a heavy burden even trying to release this toxic energy and release this um, joker, smoker, midnight toker, Steve. <laughs> oh. um, holy crap. There, it's just a heavy burden. It's time to step into something new. A new job. Okay, okay. Let's let's accept this one as a yes. Collaborating. New job. There's something new. That's lovely for you, Gemini's. A new pentacle. A new position. A new offer to work with someone, to work with others. To collaborate on this business. A secret admirer even. Oh yeah, they've been looking in at you. I see you. Looking in, spying that secret admirer. Even at your business. Like they're looking at your business. Maybe you have your business online. I don't know. Maybe they're driving by looking at it and seeing what's going down. The vase. <laughs> The face. Oh, man. Why is there so sad love? Someone has been waiting for an opportunity. They don't feel love. Hmm. Or you don't. This is waiting for that message. Waiting for your ships to come in. Like, sitting on the dock of the bay. Waiting. There's this waiting for this to come through. They're waiting for the right opportunity. Why is there no love right here? Well, with a Queen of Wands, it's the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. It, I, it definitely might be Sagittarius, okay? Gemini, is that your opposite? And there's this long journey. They're not feeling love. Or you don't feel love. They're waiting. Are you being the wing for their ships? Waiting so that they can move move on. To, mm, waiting to move forward. 36. The nines. 369. Mm, I saw that flow today. Even on my coffee. My haystack. Oh, and I have to get the other deck. Yep. Alright. What else are they waiting for? Oh, but waiting to move forward and take the action like to drive there. Queen of Swords. Waiting for Gemini. <laughs> or uh, Libra, Aquarius. It's the Queen of Swords. Maybe um she's like looking over here at this. A friend, a distant friend far away. Even this justice. Justice. Huh. All right. Happiness. Okay, what else about the Queen of Swords? Eight, communicating. That, like, was so cool. I wish you guys had seen that. It flipped. It was, like, upright. Like, 
Someone's waiting for the message, for a response. Like I said, I better turn this off. <laughs> All right, I'm going to finish it soon. Finish it soon. Okay, Gemini's. It's, it's looking up for you. So whatever the, the crap is, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to work out, you know? Right, okay. Someone isn't prepared yet. They're, they're not willing to do all this work. This would be taking that action and getting, doing all the stuff, like, things, they don't feel prepared yet to drive there. Oh, at your work? Yeah, they're not prepared for this job, career, 910, 8910, and flow, look at that. They're trying to let everything just go in flow, and it's, like, not ready yet, the goals. So maybe some of it is uh, Virgo 2, 9, 10, because there was that earth sign energy feminine over there at work, someone you work with. Um, King of Swords. Okay, so we've got the Gemini masculine, Libra, Aquarius. This is some great happiness. He's looking over here, dealing with this feminine, this lady with, uh, oh, this lady here with this dark hair or darker complexion, hey, great happiness, wants to send a message, huh, okay, communication, with, from the heart, I see the heart, like, the Taurus Libra, so maybe it's a more Libra masculine, looking, right, there's, they want to take action, I want to come in quickly like and drive there to this person maybe scorpionic too and tell them about these accusations this shit that's being said behind their back yeah someone coming in quickly to tell you about you got ten of swords ten of swords at the very ending part these secrets that could harm you uh, a frying pan accusations betrayal ending death a scorpio even Mm. What else? Leave, it's going to leave someone feeling very stuck in their head. Maybe they're very stuck in their head on how they're going to... Because there are secrets in their head. The secrets that you keep. Like I said, I started this like... <sighs> pretty Little Liars. A. Eh? Stuck in the head. Frying pan. All of these accusations... Um, regarding work this is regarding your bit work involvement with a lot at work like oh my gosh yeah the seven of ones in reverse again um feeling completely defeated regarding work there's legal stuff like involvement with a lot at work holy crap 87 mm. defeated Eight eight again. Eight seven eight, didn't I? Is that not it's eight nine eight eight seven eight? Huh. Once again, feeling stuck, not knowing how to move forward because they're defeated. Away from you. Mm. It's real. They're home. Home away from home. Feeling trapped at home. Oh, and emotionally detached and walking away again. Ugh, left out in the cold. Loss of money. Mm. Anything else? Looking at their options. It's taking a long time. Looking at all the options. Trying to eliminate some. Some of it's fake. Some of it's an illusion. What to see. This is a slow moving night. I mean, I tore Scarecrow and Virgo, Virgo, but taking things really slow. But they're in an illusion. The 7-7 seven, seven again. They're waiting for investments. For a return. That's why they're they're hoarding money. They're not spending. They're like holding. 
especially since and there is that love upside down huh they're holding off on it they love money more than people <laughs> i don't know what that's all about but holy crap wow this is intense okay gemini's 55 minutes and 21 seconds hey and that's it this is long um holy crap intense reading here for your uh birthday <laughs> i hope things uh i mean it's gonna look up it's gonna look up that's what you gotta do it's all it's about your growth right okay thank you bye-bye